हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो वी वेर लुकिंग द रिलेशनल अल्जेब्रा ऑपरेशन यूजिंग मैप रेड्यूस आई होप यू रिमेंबर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव सीन सम ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑपरेशन विच आर लिस्टेड हियर वी हैव डन सिलेक्शन प्रोजेक्शन यूनियन इंटरसेक्शन नाउ इट्स टाइम टू मूव ऑन टू अनदर ऑपरेशन विच इज नोन एज डिफरेंस so basically if we have two tables t1 and t2 the difference between t1 and t2 will be all the values from t1 except the values that are present in t2 i hope you have got an idea what difference operation is going to do now let's have a look at the difference algorithm so we are using the map reduce concept so the algorithm will include two major tasks the first task will be the map task now under the map task we will be having these particular steps so first we will check whether the current key is from the first relation which is r that means the table 1 if yes then we'll iterate over all the values and we'll store each current value in the variable tuple and then we'll emit the key value in the form of tuple comma the relation which is r in this case so this logic was when the key is equal to r if the key is not r that means the key is s which is nothing but the table 2 then in that case we'll iterate over all the values and we'll store each value in the temporary variable tuple and next we'll emit the key value pair in the form of tuple comma s which is the current relation that is the table t2 now once the map task is done we'll move on to the reduce task now in this case we'll check whether the current values are from the table r that means t1 if yes then only we are going to emit the key comma key because if the current values are from the table r comma s we are going to exclude that because in difference the only the values which are from the table 1 and not in table 2 will be counted in the final result so i hope the algorithm for the difference operation is clear to you all if not then we'll have a look at the example step by step we'll solve it and then it will be clear to you so let's take this particular example of two map workers each map worker is containing two tables note that originally there are only two tables table 1 and table 2 and a section of it is included in each map worker now according to the difference operation if we focus on the first record from the table 1 and table 2 the first record is 1 comma 2 in both the cases so these two will be excluded because we don't want the values that are present in table 2 which are same as the values in the table 1 if we look at the second record from table 1 it is not similar to the record which is present in table 2 hence the final result will contain this particular record from table 1 I hope the difference operation is clear. So now, as per the map reduce algorithm, let's solve this particular problem step by step. So the first step is to convert all these records in the form of key value pairs. Note that the relation R is table one and the relation S is table two. According to the algorithm, we need to first check if the relation is from R, and if yes, then we will emit the tuple comma R. So Let me quickly create the structure of the step one. Now you can see that the structure is created. So if you look at the first record, we have the record as one and two, and this particular record is from table one. So before starting, let's consider some assumptions. We will give this coral color to the records which are from both table one and table two. that means the same records are present in both the tables we will give this green color to the records which are contained only in table 1 and we will be giving pink color to the records which are contained only in table 2 so in the first case we have the record 1 comma 2 which is present in both table 1 as well as in table 2 so we'll be giving the coral color to it and the key in this case will be 1 comma 2 which is the tuple and in the value we'll be writing the tables in which this particular record is contained 
as we know this record is contained in both table 1 and table 2 so we'll be creating a list which will contain t1 and t2 and we have next record as 3 comma 1 so we'll be making the tuple and this record is only contained in table 1 hence we will write it with green color next we have the record which is 2 comma 1 which is from table 2 and it is only contained in table 2 so we will be giving it pink color so that was for the map worker 1 similarly we have to do it for the map worker 2 so the first record from map worker 2 from table 1 is 2 comma 3 now since this record is contained only in table 1 hence we will be using green color and the value will be t1 Next we have the record 4 comma 5 which is again contained only in table 1 hence we will be writing it with green color. Next we have the record from table 2 which is 1 comma 1 since it is only contained in table 2 we will be using pink color. Similarly we have the next record from table 2 hence we will be writing it with pink color and the tuple is 2 comma 1. So now we are also done with the map worker. So that's it for the first step. We have successfully converted all the records in the form of key value pairs. Now I hope you remember after the first step we apply a hash function. Now through this hash function entire key value table from each map worker will be divided into two equal parts. So let me quickly create the structure of the tables that will be created after applying the hash function. So now you can see that the structures are created. So a single key value table from one map worker will be divided into two. So now let's write the values. So the first key we have is 1 comma 2. So we'll write that and the value for this is T1 and T2. Note that we are going to write it with the same color. Next we have the tuple 3 comma 1 which is only from the table T1. Hence we are using the green color. Next we have the tuple 2 comma 1 which we will be writing in the next key value table from the map worker 1. This particular tuple is from the table T2. So we are done with the map worker 1. Similarly we will do it for the map worker 2. So totally we have 4 records. So we will be writing 2 records in each key value table. So let me quickly write it. And you can see the final result for this particular step will look something like this. Note that we are going to apply the hash function for swapping one of the table from each map worker with another map worker. Now the swapping is done to avoid the redundancies that may occur due to the duplicated keys. Hence we'll avoid them and the swapping will be done with the help of the reducer workers. So our map worker will now get converted into reducer worker and will swap one of the tables with different map worker. So the entire structure will be same except two tables which will be swapped between the map workers. So let me quickly write the structure for this particular step. So you can see that the structure is same. We have total four key value tables in both the reducer workers. So we will keep the first and the last table as it is and we will swap the second table with the third table. So everything will look the same except the table 2 and table 3 position will be switched. So let me quickly fill the values. So now you can see we have filled all the values and table 2 and table 3 are switched successfully. So now you can see the result of this step. Now in this result, you can find the duplicated keys, if any. So in the reducer worker one, you can find that there are no keys that are duplicated. So we'll move on to reducer worker two. In the reducer worker two, you can clearly see that the key two comma one is duplicated. So the next step will be to club these two keys together and write it in a single record. And also note one thing that in this step we are going to club both the key value tables in each reducer worker into a single key value table. So this is going to be the structure of this particular step. So you can see that there are no duplicated keys in the first reducer worker. So we will be writing all the four key values as it is. So let me quickly write it. So now we are done with the reducer worker one. 
Now let's move on to reducer worker 2 and the first record is 2 comma 1 and the value for it is t2. Next we have the record 1 comma 1 and it is coming from t2. Now again we have the key 2 comma 1 which is already present inside the database. So in this particular situation we can simply club these two keys into a single key and we can club all the values which are associated with this particular key into a single value by separation with a comma. But you can clearly see that both the keys are from the same table t2 hence there is no need of separating it with comma instead you can simply write it once. So now we have got the result of this particular step and we are only a single step ahead to the final result. But before moving on to the final step we need to consider one condition and the condition is that we need to eliminate all the keys which are from both the tables t1 and t2 as well as we also need to eliminate all the keys which are present inside only in table 2. So we need to make sure of these two conditions that is we need to eliminate the keys from table 1 and table 2 as well as only from table 2 and the difference operation works on that phenomenon only that it will consider only those records which are present inside table 1 but which are not present inside table 2. So in short in the final step we will be considering only those key value pairs which are written in green color which means they are present only in table 1. So let me quickly create the structure of the next worker nodes. So now you can see the first record is 3 comma 1 which is present in table 1 the value of it is t1 hence we will be considering that next is 2 comma 3 and next we have 4 comma 5 both of these are again contained only in table 1 hence we will be considering these three key value pairs from the first worker and you can observe in the second worker node we do not have any key value pair which are only present from table 1 hence the second worker node will be empty so now we are done with the complete solution. Now just we have to write the final result which will be present in both reducer worker. And if you remember that our original table in the problem contained two attributes A and B. So our final result should also contain these two attributes A and B. And how will you get these two attributes? By just simply observing the result that we have got in the previous step which is the keys. Now keys are in the form of tuples, first tuple is 3 comma 1, we will write 3 under the A attribute and 1 under the B attribute. Similarly for the rest of the tuple and the reducer worker 2 will be empty. So this is the final solution after applying the MapReduce algorithm for performing the difference operation between the two tables that were given in the problem. So I hope it is clear to you all. Now if you apply the manual method also, you can get the same answer. I hope it is clear. Now if you guys have any single doubt, then you can straight away put it in the comment section. I will be happy to solve it. In the upcoming video, we will be looking into the natural join operation using MapReduce. Stay tuned for that and for more such videos, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Thanks a lot for watching.